Bonjour, say go. Hello, everybody. My name is Shuma, and welcome to an art activity video. Today, we're going to be painting in the snow using spray bottles and food coloring. During this activity, we're going to be experimenting with colors. That means you can combine the colors together and see what happens when they're blended. What colors do they create? I actually grew up colorblind, which means I have a hard time telling certain colors apart. Like for example, blue and green look the same to me, even red and pink. Sometimes I have to wear these special glasses called colorblind glasses so I can tell the certain colors apart. Isn't that crazy? I still love colors though, so I love to experiment with them and see what I can come up with. But for today, we're going to just have fun and see what we can create. So let's get started. All right, so for this activity, we'll be using only a few items. The materials we'll be using are spray bottles, some water, which are already in the spray bottles for me, and some food coloring. The food coloring is what's going to make your beautiful artwork. So, we only need these three different items to create our beautiful snow painting pictures. For my snow painting, I'm going to try two different kinds of painting. I'm going to use the one food coloring in one bottle, and then I'm going to try mixing a couple different colors in another bottle and seeing what color it creates. That way, I have a variety of different colors to use in my snow painting. Okay, to start, if you haven't already, you're gonna wanna put some warm water in your spray bottles. So I have some warm water in both of my bottles, and now I'm gonna take my red, food coloring and I'm going to put about 10 drops inside the spray bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, there's 10 drops of red food coloring in this bottle. And now I'm going to mix it. Mix it up really well. If it's a lighter color, you may need to use more drops of the food coloring so it can show up in the snow. All right, the red food coloring is nice and mixed. And now we can move on to this spray bottle. For this spray bottle, I'm going to mix the colors yellow and blue. What colors do they create when they mix together? I wonder, 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 let's see what happens when we combine the two colors together. Here's the blue. I'm going to place about five drops of blue inside the spray bottle. One, two, three, four, five. If we need more, we can always add more after. And now I'm going to take the yellow food coloring and I'm going to place it inside the bottle as well. About five drops. One, two, three, four, and five. Lovely. Now, we can mix this up. And let's see what color it creates when we mix blue and yellow together. Wow, look at that. It creates the color green. So beautiful. So now we have the red spray bottle and we have the green spray bottle. All right, so now let's go outside and see what kind of artwork we can create with our new colors. If we need to, we can always go back inside and dump out this water and put in some new colors. So let's go outside and have some fun. 
Okay, so I found a nice patch of white snow. Here is a beautiful blank canvas for us to paint on. So I have my green spray bottle and we're gonna start off with spraying the snow with the green food coloring. Here we go. Isn't that so neat? Look at how it's turning out. You can create whatever you would like to create. All right, let's add some different colors now. I'm going to try using my red, red food coloring and let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? And we can even add more colors if you like. I might try to use some pink or some yellow next. Let's see what we can also add to our picture. So right now I have green and red. What else can we use? Okay, now that I'm back inside, I'm going to add 10 drops. 10 drops of pink inside one bottle. And then with this bottle, I'm only going to add one color. I'm going to add yellow and I'm going to see if the yellow shows up in the snow. So since it's a light color, I'm going to try probably putting in maybe 15 drops. We can try 15. If we need to add 20, then so be it. But let's try out with 15 right now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Perfect. Now let's mix them all together. We'll mix them separately and then let's take them out and try it in the snow. Okay, so now we're gonna use the pink first. That looks lovely. It's a nice addition to our picture. And then last of all, we're gonna use the yellow. I realize the yellow is kind of silly in the snow, but it'll be fun re regardless. Here's the yellow. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. But look how beautiful our picture is. It's like a rainbow. Oh, I love doing this. This is such a fun activity. All right, so that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoy that activity. And until next time, guaba minwa. See you later, everybody.